Welcome back! There was an earthquake last episode and we have to go see what it's all about, so let's go do it. I'm not gonna waste much time, I'm just gonna get on with it. Because I have a very limited frame of time to finish this game now. Well, that tremor, that wasn't a natural occurrence. Who are you? Hey, hey! All good and kids, something big just happened. They're saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gramps, I'm going to the lake. I have a bad feeling about this. Bye, Pillock. Hmm, that Pillock can't sit still. Jess, I'm worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. But before you go, I can't stress this enough, don't get in over your head. We will try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. Yep, don't care about Lucas. So, that was the whole like, earthquake kaboom thing that happened. But, we need a new team member and I already have a nickname for it. We just need to go catch it now, so... That's the one thing. We need to fly to where is it? The Valley of Windworks. I forget what that is. Oh, berries. Were these the berries I left all that t that time ago? I was expecting there'd be more, but it is what it is. More berries. These were ones I planted like over a month ago. No, two months ago at this point. Uh, then I didn't get as many as I thought. Is this where I put the honey? No, okay. Just need to try and figure out where to go. I'm sorry, this isn't great gameplay. I'm just trying to figure out how to get where I need to go because I've never had to do it. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> and let's pick the berries. Episode 25, berry picking and getting lost. And at this point you guys could probably guess what Pokemon I'm gonna catch, but what's up here? Okay. Where you go, I am one. Hold on a second. This is some kind of like bonus area. Huh, I vaguely remember this, I think. Or do I? I probably don't, actually. I'm probably thinking of something else entirely, but it does look like an area I've been in before. And apparently I get the Pokemon I want to catch in here. According to Pillock at least, because he told me about it. Yeah, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing at this point. Is there even a reason for this? Or is it just a battle like your trainers?
I have a confused. Oh wait, do I need to go into that center area? I didn't encounter any Pokemon in there whatsoever, so I can only assume that's not where I'm supposed to catch anything. So what about in the grass here? Okay, and I'm back, and I just realized that you can't actually find it here until post-game. So, I need to go to another location. What's up here? Item? Item? Okay, no item. Yeah, so, there's only one other place you can get it, but it's really rare. So... Yeah, what I will do is I will fly back to Canalave eventually. I'll fly back to Canalave, wherever that is. It's here, right? Yeah. And then I will actually go underground where you can find it. Sorry that this episode was a mess, but I was given false information, so it's not my fault. Oh, we have some new areas. Nice. I'm not gonna bother getting the treasure or anything because I uh, don't need to right now. What is it doing? Oh, who did? That's fun. And now we just keep Resetting the encounters until the Pokemon we need is here. No, leave me alone. I don't want to be encountered by a weird beaver and a plant. That's the taken out of context. Oh, look at the little Shinx. It's so cute. Shinx is underrated. I know it's like overused, but I still think it's kind of underrated. There it is. We found it, boys! Yes, I will be using a Magnezone because it's a great special attacker. So, why not? Plus, I've never used one before, so... We'll go with the Quick Ball. Quack Ball. I was actually given two nickname suggestions for this thing. I was given the nickname... What was it? Um, yeah, someone suggested the nickname Newton, but I was also given another name which I like more. I'm not sure the origin, but I like it more. And it's Maxwell. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, it's serious. Oh, it already has flash cannon. That's cool. And we shall put him or it to the start of the party. Now let's leave the underground because we don't need to be here now. Okay, now where was I? Find out what's happening at Lake Valor. Very well, let's go to Lake Valor. Oh. Sorry, don't mind me just getting distracted by everything I come across. Psyduck. Um, this should evolve quite quickly, I think, so... We'll have a Magnezone before too long, guys, because I actually know how to evolve it into a Magnezone. Magnezone. Oh, never mind. That's going to take ages to evolve. What a weird coincidence! We could use this rare candy. Like, come on. I know it's cheating, but I kind of don't want to just waste my time grinding for the time being.
try it out. I mean, it's not great, but I mean, we might as well get rid of Screech, I guess. Hahaha, <laughs> next up Lake Verity. The closest thing to civilization out there is that Hicktown Twinleaf. We can roll in there completely unopposed. The magic Coffee is weakly flopping about. For a second I thought that showed a shiny magic Coffee. Oh, you want to battle, okay. Would you like to join the magic up and flop around in the mud? Not particularly. And they still have Blammy Owls and unevolved Pokemon. Says a person with a magneton. They're kind of higher leveled now, but still. Program, okay. And Kiri can take this thing out. go. I guess it depends on how many of the grunts I want to battle. Oh, guess I'm battling this one then. We set off the galactic bomb. Its blast force was phenomenal. Oh, at least you evolved your Zubat. That's an improvement. Too bad it still dies. Oh yeah, Sucker Punch. Yep. Okay, that's where I need to go. But let me explore the bottom first because I'm kind of curious about what's there. Okay. Even Team Galactic has no use for Magic Up. Worthless, all of them. I mean, they've grown to Gyarados. Which is not worthless at all. Gyarados is really good. On behalf of our boss, I'll punish you for defying Team Galactic. Might as well battle all of these guys. I mean, they'll be quick battles at, at the very least.
this stuff. Okay, sure. Do any of the Team Galactic Grunts ever evolve their Golbat into Crobat? Because it evolves by happiness or friendship or something, so I'm not sure if they made that Pokemon happy enough for it to evolve, but I guess it could happen, depending on how it's programmed. I, I don't know, I'm just rambling at this point. I'm trying to think of stuff to say because I know I'm not the most entertaining person to watch, but I try my best. I'm the one who got punished in the in the end. Okay. What do you want? Are you one of those nitwits we fall into guarding the entrance? It doesn't matter who you are. It's too late to make a difference. Things are going to get really interesting now. All the legendary po Pokemon are going to be going to be brought to our HQ in Veilstone City. Is Cyrus in here? Oh no, it's. The one I haven't seen yet. So the camera seems a bit weirder in here. I don't know why. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eternity City. Jupiter should Jupiter should be ashamed of herself getting beaten by a child, but anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of a opposition is, will not be tolerated. Wow, I butchered that. Commander Saturn. I do like the team, the like theme though. Theme though. Okay, but why though? What's the point of using rain dance? Unless it has the move I'm not aware of? Nope. Well, that seems kind of pointless. Toxic cloak. Okay. Let's see if I can one-shot this with Anakiri. Look at his stuffy little face. Of course I can watch that it. And Bronzor. Oh, okay. That's pretty smart, not gonna lie. So my fire moves are weakened. But it also means my water moves are strengthened. Oh, okay, not by much apparently. Just punch down on this thing. Never mind. I feel like extra sensory should be one of those moves that does double damage if the opponent's Pokemon is confused. Okay. Oh, I should have gone Aqua Jet. Never mind, it's dead.
You'll evolve your Pokemon, please. Oh, finally! Give it a quick attack because it's kind of redundant having Aqua Jet and Quick Attack. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us some time. That's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Okay, I'm gonna do one more thing before I wrap the episode up. And we kind of messed up our leveling up with Maxwell because of the trainer outside that I didn't realise I hadn't fought yet. So we're gonna go ahead and cheat and use the red candy on it. And apparently this should work. If it doesn't, then I've just embarrassed myself. Oh, wait, it works. Maxwell is evolving. There it is. Oh, no new moves? That's disappointing. Anyway, um... I think that's going to wrap it up today, uh, it's quite a long episode compared to my others so thank you all for watching, next episode we will go to Lake Verity and find out what's going on so see you guys then, bye guys.